In this video, we will cover the commissioning procedure for multiple power cell systems at one site or location. We will also cover how to identify and resolve common multi-system commissioning questions. The procedure we are reviewing today can also be found in the power cell installation manual. Multi-inverter systems can be commissioned with these steps. Each inverter and its associated devices will be set to a common PLM or communication channel. All equipment is shipped out in channel 1. Do not energize both inverters concurrently from the AC source. This can lead to systems crosstalking on the default PLM channel. The steps to resolve crosstalk are outlined in the PowerCell installation manual. You can also reach out to a tech service representative for support with this. We will ensure throughout this commissioning process that only one inverter is energized at the AC breaker at a time. Let's start with commissioning inverter number one. First, while inverter number one is still powered down, Turn on each 30 amp DC power cell disconnect connected to rebus devices. Also, ensure all battery switches remain off during this process. Next, energize inverter number one from its upstream 40 amp AC breaker or AC disconnect for that inverter. Enable the inverter and ensure the status changes to grid connected. PLM channel zero is an all call channel that allows communication with any online device on any channel. In the Power Cell Inverter menu, select Mod Settings. The first item on the table is the PLM channel. Toggle to select Channel 0. Be sure to save your setting by scrolling to the bottom of the device page and selecting Save. Your settings are now saved. The inverter will remain in PLM Channel 0 until all other Rebus devices have been changed. For each power cell battery and PV link connected to inverter number one, follow this process. First designate a new PLM channel other than one or zero for all devices connected to inverter number one. Use PLM channel two and apply this to the power cell batteries and PV links through the respective mod settings menus. Be sure to save settings and confirm changes were set correctly. Lastly, set inverter number one to PLM channel two. Be sure to save settings and confirm changes were set correctly. All Rebus devices connected to inverter number one are now set to the same channel. Confirm that all Rebus devices are showing in the menu as disabled and not as device offline. Now let's disable inverter number one with either the red shutdown button or by selecting disable through the inverter menu. Turn off all power cell disconnects on inverter number one. On inverter number two, turn on each 30 amp DC power cell disconnect connected to rebus devices. De-energize inverter number one and ensure the screen goes completely dark. Then energize inverter number two and enable the inverter as we did the first time. Ensure it is grid connected. Now inverter number two will be set to PLM zero while we modify the PLM channels of its connected rebus devices to channel three. Be sure to save settings and confirm changes were set correctly. It's important not to select PLM channel 0, 1, or the same channel as the other inverters. Once all of inverter number 2's devices are set to PLM 3, saved and confirmed, we can finally set inverter number 2 to PLM channel 3. Be sure to save settings and confirm changes were set correctly. If there are more than two inverters at the site, we will safely shut down inverter number 2 and continue the same commissioning process while ensuring only one inverter is energized at a time. Again, be sure to confirm that all Rebus devices are showing in the menu as disabled and not as device offline. Now we can continue the normal commissioning process and energize all inverters. See the links in the video description below to access more video resources and to enroll in the PowerCell sales and installation course. Completing the course will give dealers access to claim warranty compensation as well as advanced technical support.